Hey, what's going on guys? JC here. And what I'm bringing you guys today is a very quick and easy tutorial on how to get a custom loading screen onto your Daisy server. The good thing about this mod in particular is whenever the game does a major update, you don't have to update it because the scripting is very simple. Uh, if you want to play on expansion or for instance, Deer Isle, anything that has its own loading screen, you know, like its own custom loading screen, this scripting will override that and doesn't cause any issues. It's very simple. It's very easy. So there's two ways that you can get it. You can either a go to the discord. I'll have this loading. Like I'll have this whole folder in a pin message in the modders chat in my discord. I also have it on the steam workshop. I will link both to however you want to get it. Uh, if you decide to go through the steam workshop way, all you're going to do is come here, subscribe to the mod, then you're going to open up your workshop folder uh, basically to get yourself to it. If you don't know how to do it that way or the easiest way in my opinion is once you start your launcher back up, go to, go to your mods, it'll tell you that the mod's been installed. Just come here and type in custom loading screen. Come right here, open folder in Windows Explorer and it'll bring you right to the mod folder. So once you open up the mod folder, you're going to go into your add-ons. This is the PBO that you're going to need. Uh, you're going to need PBO manager or Makiro's tools, something like that. Uh, if you do it this way. So open it up. All you're going to do is right click on the PBO and you're going to extract to PBO folder. Uh, it'll put the loading screen folder right here and then you just drag it to your desktop. Or like I said, you go through the, the, the discord. Uh, you'll basically just get a raw file of this right here, and then this is all you'll need. So once we get this folder open and you have it on your desktop, these two images right here, the PAA and the PNG, you necessarily don't need. I'm just I'm leaving them in here just for the tutorial purpose. All you need is this loading screen dot edds. It has to be like it's case sensitive. It has to be spelled this way. So this is the image right now that would be on our loading screen. Um, edit this image, keep it 2048. This is just the test loading screen image that you guys don't need. This is what we're going to edit though, but make sure we keep it 2048. So you're going to pull up whatever imaging editing software you want, whether that be Photoshop, Krita, GIMP, whatever you use, it doesn't really matter. All you need to do is edit this image. So what we're going to do is we're going to use GIMP, this is our image. I'm literally just going to drag this image over and then we're going to go to the, the resize. Oops. Z. We have to go to the resize, which is the scale tool right here. And then we're just going to, to size this to our box and that's it done. Hit enter and we're Gucci. So now what we're going to do is we're going to file, we're going to export this as, uh, it's already done as loading screen.png. So we're just going to export it to this folder. We're going to replace it. We're going to replace our PNG that's there. Let it do its thing. We can actually close this down now. We don't want to keep the changes. So now if we open up this PNG file, it's a little green down here, but that's okay. Uh, just make sure whenever you're resizing it, just do it proper, but it's all right for right now. This will work. So once we do this, we can delete this PAA file. You're going to need to open up Daisy tools and you're going to go to image to PAA. You're going to drag this over and you're going to process the files. It'll do it to this folder right here. Once it says it's done successfully, just go ahead and, and refresh the folder. And then now we'll have the PAA file. At this point, you can delete this .eds file. You're going to close this. You're going to open up your text view. You're going to swing this over. So this is the image. You're going to save it as go to all files right here and just add a dot EDS after it and then hit save. It's going to pop up a little error message like this error loading the file. That's because text view can't open Ed's files. So it's okay. Just, just hit. Okay. You're going to close this. We're going to refresh. And then there we have our EDS file. If you want, you can open up the config and you can name your mod, whatever you want right here. Just keep in mind, you can't have any spaces. So if you're going to, to do spaces, just 
you would fill that in with um, underscores. But you don't have to edit this, honestly. But if you want to, edit it, call it a day. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go to your add-on builder. I already have a folder right here with the custom load screen. It's already there. But for this instance, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send this to my test server. So we're going to open up add-on builder, loading screen. We're going to send this to my test. So to do my test server, and we're going to go to this PC, games, uh, Steam. We're going to go to common, DayZ. And then golden guns is basically this. This is where I test everything. So we're going to go to add-ons. We're going to pack it. It's already got a loading screen, so we're just going to override it. We're going to hit OK. And now we're going to open up our Daisy offline mode to see if the loading screen worked. And there it is. It worked. So now what we're going to do is we're going to close this down. Just close the window. Get out of here, Daisy. We don't care. We don't care. Go away. Go away. All right. So once this is once this finally closes down, if it ever will, it's actually gonna want to load the whole game. Jeez Louise. That's all right. Anyways, what you're gonna do is you're going to that PBO wherever you send it, whether you send it to an offline test mode or if you if you make a folder wherever the PBO goes, you're literally gonna take that PBO, put it into your server pack, uh, resign it publish it and then you will have a loading screen it's literally it's that simple um, if you wanted to make it like its own individual mod I wouldn't recommend doing that because then you're just kind of like loading two mods and then anyone can use your particular loading screen so you would put it into a server pack uh, this video is not how to do a server pack but I can kind of just give you a quick thing so essentially this is my dying daisy this would be my server pack uh, what I would do at this point is I would take the PBO that it spits out. So here, for instance, it's right here. I would just drag this over. I would hit copy here. And then we would, as we can see, where is it at? Do a refresh. Here it is right here, loading screen. We would then come over to our DS utilities. We would find this file. Let's see where it's at. It's on this PC. C drive. No, I'm sorry. Whoops. On my desktop. Uh, desktop. Daisy shit. Right here. Add-ons. And you'll see that the loading screen PBO is not signed. So you would just need to re-sign it and then re-upload your mod and then your loading screen would work. And that's pretty much it. It's really simple stuff. Really simple stuff. Again, there's two ways to get it. You can either get it from my Discord in the description or you can get it from the steam workshop however you get it this is how you do it hopefully this video helped if it did thumbs up would be great um, feel free to join the discord anyways we've got some other modding videos and there's some people in there that can help you answer questions um, i respond much faster in discord than i do with youtube comments just because the notifications for youtube absolutely sucks so i appreciate you guys for watching like i said if this video helped Thumbs up would be cool. Go ahead and subscribe if you want. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Love you, bye.